two years of locking in. She surpassed level 90, maybe beyond that? How strong is she? We're going back to the school. The drama is about to start again. It's been two years, but a lot of things has changed. I wonder what, you know, the fake Sage. That's right, I'm sticking by it. Liz is a fraud, what she's been up to. And regarding the whole uh, missing painting and who the king was referring to Big Brother, I think it's gotta be Old Man. Old Man Will is most likely the bigger brother of the current king. And that uh, guy that we saw last episode, the younger dude, he must be like also like uh, son of Will or somehow they're family. He's, he's too young. He's it's somehow family. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> She's 15? I don't know. Did anyone keeping count? I know Duke is definitely keeping count. She's 15 here, right? I think so. How old is Duke? Duke is like 20? Is, is the age gap 5? It's 5, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jill is really just taken by her looks, huh? No, let's go to Rana first. That's more important. Damn, the village is more important than her family, man. I mean, it kind of is. Old man Will, the bond that we had, you know, with that same, like, the new uh, girl that we kind of put in charge as, like, the leader, the one that got amputa amputated. <laughs> what did you learn? I feel an opening coming. The return of the villainous. Roana looking a little bit livelier. You got flowers and shit. They were like planting a bunch of crops last episode, I think. Oh, this guy, yeah. So Nate is either the son of Will or the son of the current king and a brother of, you know, the prince. He's somehow related, right? Yo. Wonder how he got a scar. Okay. Oh yeah, why? You want to duel and see who's stronger? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. He's got good intentions. Oh, it's going to be good. This going to be good. Okay. True. Oh, what? A weak looking onna? Nah, fuck him up, Alicia. I don't hate Nate. I think that Nate's a good guy. He's just too aggressive. Got good intentions. But he's gonna get humbled pretty soon. He's gonna get very humbled. Will? Old man Will? <laughs> also, I think I said that her hair is blue in the intro, my bad. This is uh, Rebecca, right? Uh, off screen. I wanted to see the fight. Why are you, you off screening me? Too easy. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, and this was simply with the swordsmanship that we earned back when we were a kid. I don't think she practiced swordsmanship back in when she was, you know, locked up. Maybe she did, but I thought she was just grinding magic only. So imagine a scenario where we just beat her with child abilities from the swordsmanship we had a long time ago. You have no clue on a scale of magic what we're able to do. Oh, true. She got the perfect environment to just grind. Better resources, better training. Actually, she, he might have, though. I don't know when Nate and Will both got, like, kicked out, but, like, you never know. Like, she, they might be more noble than you could ever be. Okay. 
Yes, she's a villainous. Okay. She's so good at just... Because <laughs> this is not the wholesome way to approach. But she always like antagonizes and taunts. But in a productive way. Use me. You know, use me. What a villainous man. <laughs> Old man Will, what's going on? <laughs> Two years. Ninety-one. Are we gonna cure his blindness? No way. Dark magic can do that? Okay. Huh? Bitch, you're gonna cure his blindness, but Rebecca's still fucking missing a leg? <laughs> Come on, create some sort of prosthetic leg. Why is she walking around in clutches? You about to perform a fucking miracle in front of Rebecca. What about her? <laughs> okay. Ooh, ancient language. Contracts. No. I think we're giving him his vision back. What about you, though? What about your eyes? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. <gasps> one for one! Oh. That makes a lot more sense. I thought we were just doing some performing miracles. Fucking Mr. B shit. Then again, there was a lot of controversy on that blindness video, right? Anyways, it's just like one eye. That's it. And yes, this also explains the eye patch in the opening. I'm like, how did she lose her eye? This makes a lot of sense. Should we give one leg to Rebecca? <laughs> should, we, should we give one leg to Rebecca? Nah, we can't be doing that. Nah, nah, I'm sorry. I was, listen, if you had no legs, maybe I can give you one. But like, I, nah, you already got one. You got the crutches. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Damn. I wanted to. <gasps> you. That's what you look like, everyone! You can see everyone now! Wow! Wow, so this is why she wanted to go to Ruana right away. I see. Yeah, fuck our shitty-ass brothers, man. There's one good one, but eh. Yeah, Ruana's where our homies are at. Hmm. What a righteous villainous. No reaction from Nate? I would have loved to see something from Nate to be like, wow, like she really is a good person. I wonder also if she spent most of the two years trying to unlock this like ancient language magic. And she already got to level 90 easily, but she just simply wanted to like cure his blindness by transplanting an eye. And that's what took a bulk of the two years. We need an eye patch for you, girl. Yeah, what's Duke gonna buy? What's Duke gonna say, right? The prince is gonna be like, oh my god. My pre-ordered girl lost an eye? This can't be! Who do we blame? Liz Cathers, yeah? Fuck it, bro. Blame her for this shit. Will he? <gasps> he passed out. He passed out. <laughs> That means he cares a lot. Knocked out again. Back to back. I mean, we knew that since she was like five years old. Or like eight. Okay. Okay. Hey, the dad's a good guy, man. 91. That's right. Go to school. Yep. Oh, look at the stylish black rose eye patch. The design is so good. The black rose. And we saw the black rose, I think, in episode one. Remember blue rose, golden rose, black rose. That's us. All black outfit. 
Villainous all black outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, the return, bro. Damn! Everyone else has their, you know, uniforms like that. But nah, we different. That's right. Sup, peasants? Hello, Rebecca. She got cut out again. Why are they cutting her off? What, she couldn't finish her sentence again. Here's a fucked up joke. Are you ready for this? Oh, man. I can't believe I'm making it. You know what else is cut off? Her limbs. Dude, they were intentionally playing onto the fucking joke. There's no way that's a leg joke, bro. There's no way. That's so mean. That's so fucked up. But. Oh, okay. So, you know, the intermission scenes usually have a pretty good hint on what's about to follow. So, we got a new Glazer, okay? Yuri. Yuri Glazer. She's gonna be contesting, okay? Alicia. A little bit. <laughs> Gotta make a scene, though. Mm. Oh, it's the girl from the intermission scene. I don't remember seeing her at all the past couple episodes. She just showed up in the intermission, and here we go. My attendant. The fuck you talking about? Yeah, Yuri Glazer. Was she there? I don't see her there. I never saw her, bro. I never saw her character design before, bro. Also, one second. The best part of this frame is that Duke is still, like, looking at Alicia like that, bro. Like, he's always like, oh, she's so pretty. あなた一方的にリズ氏を描く前にご自身のそこの浅さに気づいた方がよろしいわ。あら、この毛ばけばしい予想を見れば一目瞭然ですわ。リズ様とは大違い。いや、that's right. No, I think that she plays everybody. If we're still going with the theory that this might even be an isekai character just like Alicia, I don't think this is the actual heroine, the saint. Now, she was chosen by the Golden Rose. She does have all the crazy magic, but I don't know. I feel like she's intentionally portraying her outward appearance to be this docile, wholesome, saint-like girl. She's playing you like a fiddle. <laughs> あなたとじゃ勝負にならないわ。リズさんらしいご立派な発言ね。オッケー。だけど現実では多くの人が外見。あなたも私の格好を見て批判したでしょ。おお、ガーダ。Use your own あ、あなたも私の格好を見て。あなた。枝毛だらけ。おお、these <laughs> Your roots are showing. You know, these are roots right now. The black is showing the dyed hair. <laughs> There's some very, like, very specific kind of insults that really goes deep. <laughs> Damn. We're just using her logic against her, by the way. She said the exact same thing about her our outward appearance and what's inside. Oh my god, Alicia. だらしない内面が外見に現れているみたいね。受け持ち取り作る必要を感じてないの。Get okay. into her right now and say that. Yeah, that's what she tells you to not hurt you. You really believe that? She's just trying to protect your feelings. She don't mean that. You know deep inside you don't mean that. 
おかしいわね。うちは中身型はなに。無理を入れ。ちょっとしていればいいのに。素敵とは言ってくれなかった。この。We she absolutely deserved it. Damn, going for a girl with freckles, but then insult for the freckles is crazy. God damn. Damn. Hey, what's up? Welcome. You made fun of me first. Wait, you shut the fuck up. You started it. I just was existing, then you showed up. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I showed up. I just simply existed. Jane then pulled up and insulted my boy Jill based on his class. Then she insulted me based on my outward appearance. I use her own logic against her, and now she's crying to you, blaming me. How are you gonna shoot a gun at me, then complain that I shot back? You started it! <laughs>まさか。でもまだアリシアちゃんの話を聞いていないわ。みっともない外見を捨てて差し上げたの。私が悪辣な女だって。we're not even gonna. Okay, we're gonna just antagonize ourselves. Her intention is not to clear her name. We're, we're just gonna continue being a villainess. Got it? Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. 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 あの時、私の思い込みでアリシアちゃんを取り押さえ来なくなってしまったでしょ。あの時、もっと私が寄り添ってあげられていたら、あなたわけじゃないわよ。I you literally paralyzed us. The dude was about to stab us. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Oh my God. How nice of a world you live in. I want to believe that this luck. This adoration from everyone is not natural or spontaneous, but rather some sort of magic that convinces everyone that she can do no wrong. You know what the scariest type of people are? And the most terrifying and scariest people are not evil pieces of shits like me that just makes all these outlandish comments, you know, because I too feel like I'm a villainess. No, no, no. The true evil people are nice people who hide their malice under this mask of kindness. The people who act as if they're the most self-righteous, you know, people, heroes. And they think they're doing the right thing, but they don't know, right? I think there's a term called, like, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. This is that, bro. This is that. Hmm. もちろんアリシアちゃんも救うわ。だから私のこと見なるから。そうだわ。リーズ様を信じましょう。ブレイズ、ブレイズ。ノックレーズ。メイビシキンビアアライ。ウォッイズディス?ウォッイズディス?
私のことが嫌いでしょ。ジすら私を見て、とっさに私だけ取り押さえたわね。うーん、え、ね、Why not both? That's a great question. Why even give the chance of this? I didn't even think about that. You're right. This is so odd now. ブー。<laughs> And there's this evil malice that's subconscious that you know showed up for a bit there. Is that what's happening? Huh. This is back when she was playing the game. You get to never see her face though. Hmm. No, it just vibes. I have a semblance of a plan. <laughs> リズ様あ、シャラリズ様に何をしたのよリズさんに救ってほしいなんて望じひで生かしていただくより憎まれて死んでも自分を貫くのが私の理由ですベースト Listen, it's very nuanced. It's K5 case. Someone dying on the hill, okay? It's not always based, okay? <laughs> you gotta, gotta think about it on a case by case scenario. But in this situation, I believe Alicia is in the right, right? I believe that Alicia is in the right. And even if anyone else won't believe us, she's gonna tr stay true to her ideals. That's how it should be. Based Alicia. I'm not gonna read that comment because that could get me banned. Arji? Mel? Mel? Do I remember Mel? Who's Mel? Oh, fuck. Maybe he was talking to somebody about putting surveillance on something? The、yeah, fountain, yeah, the fountain. There was a fountain. I forget what she looked like. I, 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 barely, I barely remember though. And, and, and he sent her to do some research on Rowena, right? In order to figure out, like, because he's going to be taking over Rowena and he needs to understand what's going on. Something like that, right? Is Gil also participating at school? What's he doing? What's he writing there? この学力なら確かに最高学年に編入しても。これまでよく学んできたのですね。アリシア君と従者の君も。ありがとうございます。ジョー十一歳とは思えない学力です。とっていますね。いいえ。Good boy, Jill. Talented. 一人でどんどん学習。That's right. This is the merits. This is the wasted talent that would have been rotted in Rowana due to the discrimination. But now you got meritocracy. So, what do you think? Eh? I'm going to go to the school and go to the school. No magic, though, huh? Because magic only exists for the nobles, the royals in this world. That's the mechanic. What do you think? 最高学年の授業はハイレベルにおいで。平民ってやっぱりできることに限界がある。It'd be cool if Jill could surpass these limitations and use magic somehow. What would suck if Jill is actually a long lost child of a noble family and he has magic dormant? I feel like that would defeat the purpose of a character like Jill. But if he could surpass his limitations and somehow use magic, fuck it, I'm down. There it is. That's right, the lore. Even s h i b i a l i s h a with the eye patch. Go again, go back, go back, go back. Mariko Motana, Hemi, got none of you. Mariko got still to say, she got the Bakarisha. Okay, okay.
I thought she was shitting on not every noble can also. I thought every noble might use like shitty magic too, but like jobs, job prospects, stuff like that. Your career gets stunted. Because why? RNG. And the most important determining factor of your trajectory of whatever success means to you in the world is spawn point. Happens in real life too, not just this anime. Spawn point where you're from is so, so significant in how your life shapes up. <laughs> Time he summoned this by like he's just just summoning us out of fucking thinner into the library, right? Oh my god, you're so fucking extra, Duke. You're so extra. Ooh. Wow. The eye. The eye. Who did this? Who did this? <laughs> Blame Liz. <laughs> Blame Liz. Bl Blame Jane, bro. Yeah, they took my eye. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I know. You've been pre-ordering for a long time. Yeah. It's like your package that's been just it's it's shipped. It's processed. It's on its way. And it got damaged by the time it's finally good. Yup, I know how you feel, bro. This is even pre-ordering this shit. She, she was like, hey, bro. <laughs> this, is, this shouldn't be this funny, bro. This shouldn't be this funny. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> the whole pre-order package being damaged analogy actually makes so much sense here, though, bro. <sighs> 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 Oh I think her inner character is taking over. I'm not sure. Is is this really herself right now talking? What's going on? Is it the game mechanics? Oh shit! I don't know if that was her being emotionally unstable or if it's like the game mechanics of her role as a villain as rejecting the prince. Something was off there. Blame Liz. I blame Liz for everything here. Yep, she's around. She controlled us. It was, it was. You're coping there, though. Exactly, right? That is more like the traditional villainous that we know. What she's been doing all throughout the show has not really been villainous-like, if you look at what she accomplishes with their goals, but the way that she did it was very villainous-like. This is not that. This is different. Ooh, Jill knows. True. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Successfully grooved? No, that's crazy. Successfully grooved is crazy. Mm. Okay. The spirit. Mel? Mel, I think. And that's another episode of Villainous Man. Oh my god, this, this episode is fucking spicy. I mean, as it should have been. Three key moments. The first key moment is giving our eyes to Will. Not all of our eyes, a single eye. I thought that we were able to just fucking perform miracles. Be like, hallelujah, open your eyes, brother. You have seen the vision of lights. No. One eye. Boom. Eye transplant magic. Yummy magic. I want to believe that her two years 
was spent mostly on figuring out how to do the eye transplant because she's 91. Maybe level 90, you know, she got better earlier, but just for old man Will, she grinded extra time in there. That's my headcanon. Second important part, ooh, the return and the heavy, heavy drama with Liz. And it's looking like Liz is unaware. Rather than being intentionally, you know, malicious, it's rather the byproduct of somebody that's been living in so much, you know, privileged uh, environment, everyone glazing, affirming um, her of her ideals that she has become careless and she had subconscious malice towards Alicia? Is something that was happening there? I want to believe that she's intentionally being shitty because I don't want her to be a victim of this. And then the third part, ooh, the... Alicia and Duke, yes, the entrance was so fucking corny. I love it. It's just that it's such a dramatic fucking entrance. Oh, your eyes, what happened? Ah, uh, it's just Alicia maybe just being, you know, emotionally vulnerable, right? Uh, all the things that she was saying, she didn't want to say it, yet she did. Was it the game mechanic forcing her to? Maybe she just couldn't do it. Maybe she was just had like an L there. Maybe it's something like that. But ultimately, she does want to be nice to him. We have Mel, I think, here, who is the familiar with the, you know, uh, Duke. And I'm sure everything's going to be fine. It's just the Liz stuff. Jane is probably going to be the next lackey that we topple. And Liz, I don't know what's going to happen with you, but we'll see. Her new drip, though, fantastic. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.